boyfriend defensive watching a promising young woman. So I was watching a promising young woman with BF and at the part where she's talking to the dean who dismissed her when she was assaulted, my boyfriend said something like that's stupid. And so I made him explain and he said that it was stupid because it was unrealistic and he didn't like the discrediting of the notion innocent until proven guilty. He also thought the fact that it was a girl power scene was annoying, whatever that means. When I asked him what he meant he said that he would think that man power scenes were annoying too. I tried to explain that the innocent until proven guilty thing wasn't the point of the scene. Also I said that it wasn't totally unrealistic that her accusations would be dismissed by a dean and things like that actually happen all the time. I also said that women deserve a moment of recognition in a movie and his defensiveness really bothered me. It felt like he wasn't really hearing anything I was saying so I got kinda worked up and I don't remember exactly how the argument carried on but at one point he accused me of getting angry with him about his criticism for the movie because it was cathartic for me. And then at some point he told me I owed him an apology basically for objecting to his opinion. I have to say though that I do think innocent until proven guilty should apply to all crimes and I acknowledged that with him but tried to explain that that wasn't the point. Still it bothers me that he was immediately critical and defensive of the film instead of considering how the message might have a good point about how women are sometimes treated by men and how this is perpetuated. I don't know what to make of this ordeal right now and whether I should judge him as a person because of it. Just looking for general insight. Edit, we are both 22. Also, I tried to talk to him about it again just now and read him the top comment slash thread and asked him if he had any takeaways or questions or things he wanted to clarify. All he said was I thought it, the movie scene, was stupid. I asked why and he said because it was for the Me Too people and it was meant to be a Yuko girl thing. So I said so you think that women who have been sexually assaulted don't deserve a moment of reckoning in a film, am I hearing you correctly? And to that he walked away and shut himself in his office. I don't know how old y'all are but if he's an adult he should be aware of the fact that assault accusations get dismissed on college campuses all the time. They happen at all types of schools. We literally had a boy who was sexually harassing us in elementary school and they didn't kick him out for literally years despite all of the girls he inappropriately touched and bothered. But at the end of the day, if he didn't know this but was open to learn it would be okay. What concerns me, is he wants an apology. For what? And also, does he get upset? That every time a dude that's the hero in a movie mistreats women, or other men? I mean movies are rife with violence where men have reckonings against other men without being proven guilty. Does he object to all of those? Please watch Unbelievable on Netflix with him. Ooh, good idea. That one's a true story. Better to deal with a non-fiction subject through less fictional lenses. I have to say that this reminds me of my professor preparing the room to discuss rape as a crime, in law school. Like I was floored she had to remind the people to be respectful because we were all intelligent adults. But lo and behold I watched as over the next hour the men got increasingly defensive. It was the most gender divide and actually pretty heartbreaking. That being said, watched the movie with my fiancé and he did not get the least bit defensive. He wants an apology? Screw that. Yes. I'm a psychology student and, of course, the topic of rape and victims and how to work with patients comes up a lot. This dude that sat next to me, and was unfortunately trying to woo me into a date, straight up says women are just gossipers and lie a lot to get attention. I was floored. Some dudes just really don't understand. My male professor even gave him a nasty look followed by my jaw dropping. Hope that kid drops out of psych school. We don't want him. Sorry not sorry. This reminds me of an argument I got into with my BFS dad about Genghis Khan. He thought that Genghis Khan's stabilization of the region slash infrastructure slash economy made him a good leader, and he thinks he should be honored. I say it if he cured cancer, he raped so many women that his genes are present in over 16 million people today, no amount of good deeds could ever compare. Ended up having a fucking mental breakdown trying to explain to him why mass rape is bad. Had an ex brag that he could be related to to Khan. It should have opened up my eyes to the kind of person that he is. 
I'm not sure how this scene is at all interpreted as a girl power scene. If anything this scene illustrates how women and institutions are a huge part of rape culture and upholding the status quo. Your boyfriend wants you to apologize for having an opinion different from his. Yeah, that's a no from me, dog. For the people in the comments saying what amounts to boys will be boys and we just grew up different. You're proving the film's entire point. It's also just a shitty excuse. I watched this film with my boyfriend and he really enjoyed it and was rooting for every terrible character to get their comeuppance. You don't have to date a man who doesn't respect women just because of the myth that all men act like this. I BM'd in my girlfriend's apartment building's stairwell and didn't tell her. Off the bat, L no there are more tragic, sordid or complicated circumstances than this one. Some also might laugh more than to sympathize. I get that. But this was one of the worst experiences of my adulthood, so far, and it happened yesterday. Bit of background, I, 28 meters, have been dating my girlfriend, 22F, for about a year plus. She's absolutely wonderful. She's kind, mature and very understanding, important traits to keep in mind. A crazy about one another, and have a future. She knows the good, bad and ugly about my past and vice versa, and for the most part, I feel I can tell her anything. However, being a relatively new relationship, we're still not past that honeymoon phase where I'm 100% comfortable being totally myself, warts and all. For example, I still leave the room to pass gas, I don't pick my nose in front of her, and that's the less of some of my grosser habits. And I think that's fine. It's always taken me a while in prior relationships to get there and I think that's true of most relationships. Unfortunately, that timeline will be pushed way, way up if I do come clean to her about what just happened. So for the last month we've been living in the same city. ABT a week ago, I started having stomach issues, namely constipation. I've had it before, but I've never had to see a doctor or anything. This time, however, was so bad that I had to let my GF in the loop. She was great about it, supportive, helpful, even found me a gastroenterologist to see. Our sex life took a dive, but that may have been mostly me, my discomfort, and not handling my embarrassment well. FF to three days ago, I see the doctor, he prescribes a solution I take it that night at my place. After an hour of horrible discomfort followed by unbelievable relief and a long shower, I joined her upstairs and we both pretended like nothing happened. I thought it was done. Those more familiar with colon cleanses than I can probably guess what happened the next day. I drove her back to her apartment, and when we were close I felt some gas and like I had to fart. I held it in until she left, though. Less than two blocks later, it became very clear, very quickly this wasn't gas. And worst, it felt like my whole stomach was full. I found the next parking spot. There were no restaurants or Starbucks nearby, but her building was two blocks away. I sent her a text, then started to run, clenching the whole way, praying I could hold it. I barely made it to her wrapped on the 28th FL of an upscale building. I called her with no answer. I started ringing, pounding the door, yelling her name, to no avail. I knew her parents also lived there, so she likely was at theirs. I couldn't remember their floor. Not that it mattered, I couldn't make it anyway. All I could think about was not shitting my pants at that moment. I opened the stairwell door, saw that it was empty, nobody was coming, and rather than soil my drawers, I pulled them down, crouched along the wall and did the dirtiest, most disgusting, shameful act of my life on the stairwell landing a mere two doors down from where my girlfriend lives. This wasn't just a crap, and it can't even be described as diarrhea. It was everything there was remaining in my colon that had been backed up in there for over a week. I'd truly struggle to believe a human could have produced it if I hadn't been its maker. I finished and fled out of there as fast as I could. Oh FC, it was only afterwards while riding the elevator down that I remembered there was a BR off the lobby the whole time. I cleaned myself up in there then sprinted to my car. I ignored dozens of texts and callbacks from my GF apologizing, asking if I still needed to use her apt, and if I had found a bathroom. I responded when I got home but kept my texts brief and vague specifically ignoring the one asking if I had found a bathroom. I have no idea if she found out, 
or we'll find out. She's clever enough to put two and two together obviously if someone mentions something about it. And unless it was cleaned up quickly and quietly, I'm certain it's the sort of thing floor neighbors will talk about. I feel guilty and like I should come clean to her. I think slash no she'll understand. But I seriously doubt she'll ever see me the same way again. This isn't stinking up her bathroom. This is a full grown man who couldn't hold it and wrecked her building's stairwell. I'm already ashamed and embarrassed, and if she finds out, especially from someone else, I'd feel completely horrified and humiliated. I think I'd have to break up with her. I know that sounds extreme but I don't think we, or I, could recover from this. Even if she insisted it didn't change the way she saw me, I'm not sure I'd be able to believe her. So do I take this one to my grave, hoping she never finds out, or finds out, never mentions it, and lets me live in blissful ignorance? Or do I come clean about all of it, and trust our relationship is strong enough to overcome it? TL, doctor I defecated all over my girlfriend's apartment's stairwell when she wasn't home. That's a lot of words to say, I shit in the stairwell of my girlfriend's apartment. Don't tell her. Unless you get married. Then tell her on your wedding night. You know she'll know at some point. The news will get around and I assume she's smart enough to figure it out from the timing. The honorable thing would be to go back and clean it up. You've left it to some poor person to clean it up which is really unacceptable. Why do all these fake attention-seeking posts feel the need to write like Hemingway to describe a poop incident? I'm confused why you would run two blocks to her apartment instead of driving back. I have a friend who went on a first date with a guy to a really spicy Thai restaurant and then headed back to his home, a cramped sailboat he was living in. Very small. Small windows. Too. Right about then, the curry comes back to haunt her and she absolutely destroys his tiny ship bathroom with loud, explosive diarrhea. When she came out, he was sitting quietly and had opened a window. They've been married for 10 years now. This is the most romantic story about diarrhea ever. I, 23F, am the oldest of 3, 17F, and 13M. My younger brother lifted my PJs last night while I was asleep. Is this normal for a boy his age? Should I tell my parents? I fell asleep watching a movie with my younger brother last night and woke up and felt someone lifting my PJs and underwear from below. I was too scared to say anything but he put it back within a few seconds and left a few minutes afterwards. After a few minutes when I was sure he was gone I got up and went back to my room and locked my door. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before and we come from a very conservative family. I don't know what to do about it and feel very uncomfortable about the whole situation. I'm afraid my parents may overreact or punish him severely if I tell them but maybe he will do it again if I don't say anything. What should I do to make him stop without getting anyone into trouble? 13 is definitely old enough to know better and to understand what he was doing. That's pretty disturbing and I think you should talk to your parents about it. Deal with him directly. Explain to him that you were aware of what he was doing, that it is never okay to do that to anyone under any circumstance. Explain what consent is and how he should always get consent before touching or doing anything to anyone. If you think your parents will overreact and punish him in a way that is damaging, then don't tell them. You are an adult and are able to tell him what was wrong about this, tell him how upset it made you and explain why it's wrong. And you can add that if he does it again or you hear of him doing it to your sister or anyone else, there will be massive consequences and you will tell your parents at that point. I'm guessing it won't happen again if you make that clear. Thanks for this. I was crying all night not wanting to tell my parents and they overreact or punish him. I just want him to not do anything like this again and didn't know what to say to something so uncomfortable.